In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Calendly account so you could schedule uh, meetings. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the very top and you're going to click on sign up. And it's going to tell you to enter in your email to get started. So I'll just, uh, I'll just put a demo one that I have. And then I'll just hit get started. And then it's, uh, you could either sign in through your Google account or if uh, you want to just uh, use a different uh, password, then you could just select right here and do the password. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign up with Google. But again, if you want to, so basically if your uh, Gmail password is, you know, password123, then if you sign up with Google, whenever you log into Calendly, your password would also be password123. So this is where if you want your Gmail and your Calendly to be a separate password, that's why you would click here. All right, now it's just telling uh, that uh, Calendly wants access to your Google account. Um, that way you can see your calendar, basically. So you click Allow. Again, you may be using a different uh, email service. Maybe you're looking, maybe you're using Outlook or something, but you just, uh, um, it'll take you through those steps. All right, so then it says create your Calendly URL. So right here, um, so basically, you'll have your link that you could send people to schedule appointments with you will be Calendly.com forward slash whatever uh, you end up doing here. And then, um, so we're going to just do Friday consultation. And looks like that's available now if it's not available it'll be red and then it'll tell you to choose a different one so if you put a space it's going to put these little hyphens in between it and the reason being is because it's going to be a url so that's why it has to have a you can't have spaces in a url a url is just a web address up here and then you'll select your time zone Right now it's telling me my Google Calendar is connected and Calendly will auto check your calendar for busy times and add new events as they are scheduled. Here's how Calendly will work with joshheadley.demo at gmail.com. Let's see what this says if we hit edit. All right, that's fine. It's just saying it's setting up with the calendar. And and you could um, you could have selected set up without calendar if you don't use a calendar. Some people um, will use a paper calendar. Um, that that's for electronic type stuff. All right. Then you want to select your availability on. So my Fridays, mine's going to be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And. So you could select every single day if you want. I'm just setting this up for Fridays only. I'll be my only meeting days that I, I'm going to schedule for this particular demo. Check, make sure I'm good. What is my day-to-day -day at work? So you do sales or marketing, whatever. Uh, I'm going to select other. All right, over here, it's telling me uh, these are my steps. So I'm just going to close this out. Now it looks like they already have some templates set up for you. Uh, so you can do 15, 30, 60 minute meeting. Um, so you go in there if you like. I'm going to go ahead and just set up a new event type. And I'm going to do a 
45 minute meeting. And I'm going to do one on one. So it looks like you do groups if you want. It says helpful for tours, webinars, classes, and workshops. And I'm just going to do a one on one. And the event name. So you remember um, my link, I started it out being calendly.com forward slash Friday con hyphen consultation. Then the event name, whatever you put there, um, will be at the end of that URL, I believe. So it'll be like calendly.com forward slash, um, you know, uh, Friday hyphen consultation forward slash, you know, one on one. All right, and then location, this will be a phone call. And then you select, I will call my invite or my invite should call me. I'm gonna say, I will call my invite. All right, this is, um, you put some instructions. So whenever they go to schedule, you can put something like, you know, this is a phone call about you know, loan applications only. If you want to schedule a call for anything else, please email me. All right. And then here's where I was talking about. So there's where the Friday consultation is and then one-on-one. -on -one. Then you choose the event color. You may have um, different ones set up. So like back on that last screen, there was a, uh, we had the 15 minute, 30 minute, and 60 minute, and they were all different colors. So that's how you just uh, separate them. All right, so I'll select blue. <laughs> All right, when can people book this event? We're gonna do 45 minute duration or you could just do a customized one. Date range, events can be scheduled over 60 rolling days. And over a date range or indefinitely. Okay, that's just saying that, um, that's just saying that uh, They'll only let them go out 60 days. So I want to do 14 days. We'll just do two weeks. So that's basically right there is two weeks. So it's only going to let them schedule out two weeks. It won't go any more past that. But these will be all the available days um, going forward. So you'll see, you know, I'll be 14 days, and then anything from 13th on won't be able to uh, make those appointments. Now, of course, once it goes tomorrow, then this day will free up because it'll go 14 days. And right here's your time zone. So right now we have Eastern, so that's fine. So you could edit it there. And then let's go ahead and take a look at these advanced options right here. All right, availability increments. Set the frequency of available time slots for your invites. All right, event max per day. So this is if you only want to have so many, um, this is only if you want to have so many uh, meetings per day. So like once you reach three, then it'll shut off for that particular day. All right, so I'll just do four. Actually, I'll just leave that blank. Use the setting to prevent last minute events. So it won't let uh, people schedule an appointment that's within four hours. All right, that's fine. I'm just gonna keep that there. Buffer, this is the set aside preparation, rest or travel time before or after your events. All right, so maybe I want to have a 15-minute buffer, and 
because that's a 45 minute uh, meeting and I'll take 15 minutes before the next one I won't hide this from the main Calendly page Hit next all right so there's that now here's some additional options I'm going to click to invite questions all right, this is so whenever they schedule their appointment, this is the information you want to click. Name, email, phone number, so you can call them. They could add guests, and then anything else with the meeting that they want to share. And if, I mean, another option would be, you know, is this a purchase or refinance appointment? And then you can just do like radio buttons if you want. And you put purchase here, refinance. And you can also put other right there if you want. I just went ahead and delete that. I don't need that in here. Hit save and close. Next, we'll go to notification and cancel, cancel policy calendar invitations. An event will be created in your calendar and your invitee will be added as an attendee. Okay. So that's basically just saying that it's uh, going to go to your calendar. And you can actually personalize how it shows up. Okay. So, invitee full name, that would be the person scheduling an appointment with you, and your name. And then the body of it would say event name, event description, location, questions, that type of stuff. So, email reminders. An invitee will receive a reminder email before a scheduled event at a specific time. So I'm going to hit on, personalize. All right. So the subject line will just say reminder, um, event name, uh, which would be like one on one, uh, one on one consultation with Nathan at, you know, whatever time they scheduled on the date that they scheduled. And then hi invitee, so whoever uh, your client is or prospect. Uh, this is a friendly reminder that your event name with Nathan is at this time on this date. Location be the phone, event description, questions and answers. All right, we can do that 24 hours, and we could also do one hour before. Email follow-up, request a review or prompt next steps with an automated email sent after the event is over. Um, this would be good for if maybe you wanted to send your link so they could review you on Google afterwards. You could have them send them an email. And then they, they get text reminders. Let me turn that on. And cancellation policy. Cancellation policy could be something like, you know, uh, if you cancel this meeting, it's a $25 fee. Um, again, you probably won't need that. It would be more for like a doctor's office or something like that, I guess. Confirmation page. Um, it's just after they schedule it, this will give them a confirmation. And you could also send them to uh, maybe your website if you wanted to afterwards. And then if you want to collect payments, all right? And you can just kind of click on this view live page. There you go. And you can see that right here. So that's what it'll look like whenever they go to schedule. And again, it's going to only go out those 14 days that we selected. So tomorrow, since it's the next day, it'll add the 14th day here and so on. I guess it wouldn't be on Saturday. It'd be on Monday, but all right. So it's good. Now what we could do is we can go up here to account and we can do account settings. And you could upload your picture here, your name. Here's a welcome message, date format. So you could upload your picture right here. And then you click Save Changes. 
You go to branding, you put your company logo right here. And then you can change your link right here. And your login information. And that's how you set up a Calendly link. And then they'll email you. And then right here you could, um, so let's see here. So I can deactivate or delete this one. And I can basically go through here and just delete any ones that I'm not using. And then once people schedule their, um, once they schedule their, uh, their meetings with you, you could also go in here to scheduled events and then look in here of your scheduled meetings basically. Of course, it, if you integrate it with your calendar, then it's going to show up on your calendar too. So, But that's how you set up a Calendly appointment scheduler.